I really can't move all my fingers right, so I don't have a lot of strength on it. So I have to use a special fork. I can't feed myself. Uh, I wasn't able to do that um, a month ago. So, yeah, it's still hard, and I really can't balance myself because I'm kind of wobbly. And it just fell out of my mouth. Dun dun. Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl Mills. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing a unboxing and review with the utensils called Dining with Dignity. And these are it. These are it. Let me let me go ahead and show you guys. But wait, before I do that, I just want to take this moment and thank Mr. Robert Baton. Mr. Robert Baton uh, was injured in 2001 and before his injury, he was a chef and he came up with these utensils. As you can see, these utensils are very low key and you can't even tell that they are designed for somebody that does not have grip, that is not able to hold their utensils independently. So like, let me just give you a quick look. This is what the knife looks like. Okay. This is what the fork looks like. I'll definitely be showing clips of how I put them on and how you can use these independently. Okay. So Mr. Robert Baton is not only a genius for inventing these guys, he was kind enough to send us, not me, but us, three dining sets. Which means, guys, that this is going to be my first giveaway. I'm going to be giving out three dining sets that's going to include the spoon, the fork, and the knife so there's gonna be three winners and i will announce all the details at the end of the video i'm super excited and a little emotional just because these were the utensils that gave me the independence and as you can i'm gonna share a little video here this is me eating the strawberry it used to take me so long to do this so whenever this was me at the at the time my parents had to feed me i wasn't strong enough to use a cuff it was none of that. So then I gradually um, started to eat with a cuff, but I felt that that was a little ghetto. I don't know, I just didn't like it. No offense, right? And thankfully, one of my therapists did introduce me to these awesome utensils called Dining with Dignity. And I'm gonna go ahead and show a clip here that way you guys can see that, you know, I actually used these and we were real customers. Actually, my parents bought them for me. Shout out to my mom and dad because they were the ones that bought me these utensils. I'm just super excited, guys, that my first giveaway is gonna be of a product that actually changed my life. This made me independent. And um, again, I just wanna thank Robert, thank you so much for sending us these three pairs because it's gonna change someone's life. So I'm just really excited about this, guys. So just stay tuned and watch the clip. That way you guys can see how easy it is to use these simple utensils that give you the dignity, the confidence to eat out in public. User's manual. Just a twist and turn away from dining. Hold your fork and spoon as illustrated to maintain a gentle grip of the utensil. This position provides the most support and leverage for stabbing, scooping, and cutting. Each utensil may be twisted to meet your specific grip and strength. A person with no grip has the ability to hold these utensils while eating with no assistance. The loops are very flexible so that they can be adjusted by any assistant or even yourself to fit the individual's hand, size, and condition. So this set right here, guys, runs about $100. The set itself is just $74. But if you don't buy over a certain amount, they do charge you for shipping fees, which is $10. So, you know, it's basically $100. I would say it's a little pricey, right? You know, if you're not working because you know everyone with a disability doesn't really have a job and you know how that goes social security blah blah um but i think it's worth it let me see if i can do it if not i'm gonna have to ask one of my sisters it's a workout did i tell you bob is a quad too if you're a quad gang gang right and it's like once you have your size you won't have to struggle again and maybe you will need help to adjusting these but after that you can eat it independently you just have to get the hang of it, get your size, and you'll be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate different kinds of abilities, how you can do this, right? So you can do it, pick it up with one thumb, and then do this. Or you can leave it here, pull weight on the spoon, whatever it is, put it to the edge, and then Swiggle your fingers down. But let's go ahead and try it. This is honey bunches and oats, and they look really good, but 
like I promise I'm not gonna eat it or use this utensils with my saliva because germs even though when you go to restaurants and you use utensils you're using other utensils that people put in their mouth but you know whatever that was my demonstration for the spoon so let's go ahead and try the other utensils that we could guys get a honest review so I found out that for me, the easiest way to put on the knife by myself independently is putting the knife sideways. Like if it's just laying down and taking a nappy and then I just slide my fingers inside of the rings. That's what works for me. And I decided guys to use some fajita. This fajita was a little hard because <laughs> you know, sometimes when you go to restaurants, it's not always going to be soft. You know, it's got to be prepared. And I'm not going to lie, like just this motion itself is hard because your shoulders have to be up and i know whenever you have a spinal cord injury like myself i'm a quadriplegic c5 all of those muscles are fatigued are maybe still paralyzed so this itself is hard okay but uh, you're gonna watch right now that i'm struggling a lot especially because right here we have a little nervio a little nerve so that's hard itself right but like I'm struggling. <laughs> I, I was going to cut it off. But I decided not to guys. I decided to just keep it real with you guys. That little clip where I'm struggling with the nervio. That's the only section that I did that I did fast forward. And the rest you know I decided to just leave it with real time. Because I just want you guys to know how bad I struggled. And while you guys are, are probably wondering like bro like this doesn't work. This is the only way that I can cut carne on my own like if i was to go to a restaurant and get some steak i would need somebody to cut it for me because without this knife i honestly cannot cut it and you're probably still thinking well you struggled a lot mildred like it's either i struggle a lot or i don't eat carne at all when i go out to restaurants and i don't take this knife i have to ask somebody hey like can you cut this for me and i have seen the waiters just look at me weird like are you a baby why do you need somebody to cut it for you so it does feel weird and the cool thing about this, guys, is that if you just need the knife, you can just buy the knife itself. So as you guys saw in those clips, these utensils are really discreet and easy to use independently. So let's go ahead and get into the details of the giveaway. So what I'm going to do, since I do have three sets, is do a giveaway on Instagram. And two winners will be able to win these, these two sets. So that's going to be on my Instagram, and that's going to be for the giveaway of August. And then I'm going to go ahead and do another giveaway in the month of September. Why? Because not everyone has an Instagram. So I want everyone that is following me on YouTube to get a fair chance of winning a set. You know, it's just, it just makes sense. Thanks so much for watching my video, guys. And good luck. Thank you for watching my video, guys. See ya. Don't want to be ya.